to a different formulation um, called S um, P, uh, let's call this S prime of T with a different parameter T, which is going to be equal to um, uh, A times X squared, um, such that um, A squared is less than T. So now I'm putting a hard constraint. I'm saying the slope cannot be larger than T, is less than or equal to T. Right, so these, these two turn out to be equivalent because for every, if you make S larger, this is going to force the slope to be even smaller. And so if you make S larger, you can make T smaller. And so there's, there's a continuous trade-off. For every parameter S, the solution you get corresponds to another parameter T. And these, there's some relationship between them. I don't know what, the, what they are, but this, this other way of writing will be very useful. And when we talk about higher dimensions, this will be, this will be very important. Okay, so, um, so that's one cool thing. The other thing is that you can now solve for A, this slope parameter, as Px Py over like this, where you just have this s squared term here um, down the um, denominator. And so just for these squares, it was just this s squared term of 0, right? which is if you put 0 here. It's, it's, this is going to give you the optimal solution. And in, 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 the, in the matrix way of doing this, this is going to be equal to um, x transpose x plus i squared. Right, so in, inside of here, I just, inside of this, uh, this inverse, which remember was this dividing through here, I added this s squared term inside of here. And so this solution, it's, it's just as easy as, as solving the least squares problem. You just have this extra term here. And this will, this will um, bias you away from these outliers. Um, OK, so one question should be, um, so I'll quickly make a few notes, and then, then uh, I'll let you guys go. One question should be, how do I choose the value s? Right. So th this depends on how strong your prior is, or maybe you can actually, there's actually a kind of frequentist way of doing this where you look at all of your data and do cross-validation and, and do, do leave, leave, some, uh, leave some of the data out and test for it and see which value S gives you the best, um, the best results on your training set. And so we're going to talk about some of these techniques. Um, there's another version of this called uh, lasso, where instead of using the squared here, what you do is you use the absolute value. And actually, in one dimension, these are exactly the same. You just need different S or T parameters. But in, in higher dimensions, what this is going to be is, is, the, is the one norm here instead of the squared norm. And this is, this is going to make a big difference. You can no longer solve it like this. You, you, you again need to use these more complicated techniques in order to solve for this. Um, but this will really bias you towards solutions that, that it's going to set a lot of the slopes of the different, this, this line that becomes like a hyperplane. And a lot of the, the, the coordinate slopes of these are going to be exactly zero. And there's this really cool property we'll talk about in higher dimensions. Okay, and then the final thing, what we'll spend Wednesday talking about is um, principal component analysis, um, which is a really powerful technique for high dimensional data. And that's the one where you, um, where you are projecting this point onto the closest point instead of onto the, this vertical distance. And this also has a very simple solution, uh, a, nice, a nice solution using um, numerical linear algebra techniques. Um, but is, is, is projecting into here. And so we'll talk about a lot of the properties and the ways to think about the SVD and principal component analysis on Wednesday. 
And then after break, we'll talk about some ways to speed up the process to get similar results, but in, without having to do this, this matrix inverse. And we'll use some of the techniques from uh, streaming algorithms to, in order to do this. Okay, uh, great.